another lawnmower. Alright, let's get through these quickly. First things first. I went to my local cash converters and there's another clip in here, so I'll just insert it here. And we're back. But I went to my local cash converters. God, I hope that's not... I hope that lawnmower isn't going over my speech. But, got a bunch of games, really good games as well, like ones that I've been looking for for the, ple ple for the PS2 collection. So, first we have one that's a little bit disappointing, but it says Okami, but as I peeled the price tag off, you can see the word max in there, so can you guess what was actually in here? That's right, a copy of Max Payne. I would have much preferred this to be Okami and I am going to take it back, so... Fuck. Yeah, I'll wait till it's subsided. Alright, this is as quiet as we're going to get, so... There's still lawnmowers going off, but they're not... They're not as close, they're in the distance, so let's continue with the pickups I was showing. The second item is one that actually is what it claims to be. Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 2, this one was $3. Just the disc, but it also came with this little Atari catalog thing, so as a few games I'm going to put this in my copy of this and sell this off. If anybody's interested in it, my eBay. Also found a few games that I don't own and have been looking to buy. We have Inspired by the Fifth Element New York Race for $3. Also have one that's pretty fun. It's like Destruction Derby on the PlayStation 1. It is Flat Out, also for $3. And one that I have owned in the past, but I've never found a working copy of this and so it's finally great to find one. I've played this already for a bit. I put it in just to test it out. Ended up putting around an hour and a half into it. So much fun. I love this series. Fuck. Whatever, I'm continuing. <laughs> Broken Sword, The Sleeping Dragon. Broken Sword 2 is my personal favorite. I would love to get it on the PlayStation 1. No manual, but I love Broken Sword. It's a adventure game where on the PC, it's point and click, but on consoles, you actually move around and you actually you actually search items with the button, so you don't have a kind of cursor or anything on the screen, so it's pretty good. One that I have on the original Xbox, I have on the PlayStation 2, not a very good game at all, but just interesting. Blowout, also for $3. It is a 3D side-scrolling shooter, so it's fairly interesting. You go through these big map-like levels battling enemies. It's it's fun for a while, but then it gets kind of boring, so I can't say I can recommend that. And one that's going towards my collection. It's not on my Wii list, but it is one that I would like to have anyway, and now I do have it. Pokey Park 2 Wonders Beyond, which cost me $7. This game sells for stupid money. Like, it's $30 or something, which I think is insane for what it is. I mean, it's just like Animal Crossing with Pokemon, isn't it? I think so. Alright. Next one was, a few days after that, I decided to head into... My, not my favourite cash converters, but one, it's one that's up there. The Fortitude Valley cash converters, where they do fantastic deals and everything. All of the games in there were 20% off, so they were even cheaper than what I got them for. And the first game I got was the God of War Collection. The back of it, for some reason, has Chinese text, but the actual disc itself is just the classic. So, for $6, minus 20% off, I thought that was really good. They never stop. They never stop. Whatever. But there was another guy in there, like, they had an Atari 2600 in there, and they were asking 120 bucks for it, and they were asking $12 each for the games, and I was like, nah. <laughs> I could, I, I'm, 
would did not even consider it. I would never even come close to thinking of paying that much for an Atari. And an old guy and his daughter walks in, like, not old, old, but like 40, 50. And he looks at the Atari and he's like, oh, I should get that. It's an essential part of the collection, way rarer than the original Atari. And I was just looking at my own stuff and I overheard him and I was like, fuck this guy. That's the guy that keeps prices high in Australia. I mean, I saw the Atari, didn't even consider it. I saw the price tag and just walked away like, yeah, whatever. He came in and he was seriously considering purchasing it. He didn't end up purchasing it, he was right in front of me in line, so I saw what he bought. His daughter bought some anime DVDs or something, like some cartoons, but I did not even consider buying it. And he was standing there for a good five minutes just thinking, oh, I should get that, I should get that. And he was telling his daughter that, and he was like, it's an essential part of the collection, they have really good games here too, like Pac-Man. And I'm like, ugh, is this my competition? Is that my fucking competition? Honestly. Not the brightest bunch of lads, but... I ended up getting the stuff that I wanted. All cheap stuff. Nothing great, but all stuff I do want in my collection. For the Midas collection, we have International Q Club. It was a dollar minus 20% off. And I've never heard of this subsidiary of Midas. It's Midas Touch, so... It's fairly interesting. Sniper 2, also, no, this one was $2, minus 20% off. Looks like a kind of, what's that game in arcades? Ah, oh, what is it? It's a sniper game where in the arcade there's a big sniper rifle and you look through the lens and you can see down into the screen and it's really cool, so if I remember what it's called, I'll put it down here. We also have... Tetris World, who doesn't who doesn't love themselves a little bit of Tetris for two dollars? I just realized I wasn't showing you the insides of these, but they're all complete. On for the Phoenix Collection, Combat Ace. Two dollars minus twenty percent off. Not the best game, but it's definitely interesting. It's like Afterburner. So it's definitely better than I thought it would be. But it's a lot like Afterburner. To burn it, so it's actually worth buying and playing. Driven to Destruction, which I have a few copies of, it sells fairly quickly if you price it low enough, so for two dollars I also was happy to grab that. No instruction manual, but the disc is in nice shape. And this is another kind of destruction during the game, like flat out. If you haven't played this, definitely give it a try, it's great fun. The Hobbit on the original Xbox, one I was surprised that I did not have. I have the rest of the Lord of the Rings games, now I have The Hobbit. For two dollars I rented this back in the day, so cool to actually get it to own. I'll give it a try later. Complete and in very good shape. I have one that I bought because it was a dollar. They price a few Xbox games there for only a dollar each, so that's why I picked them up. We have Robots. I know this was a movie originally and there's an ant. There's an ant on the case. Few ants. <laughs> I've been leaving all this stuff out here for like an hour waiting for waiting for all of the noise to just subside and it just hasn't, but this was only a dollar minus twenty percent off, so very good. That's like eighty cents I think. Once again complete and eighty cents for a complete game. Doesn't matter what it is, I'll pick it up. The lowest class of the lowest class kind of game, like something only white trash would buy to actually play, but I bought it and I played it, and I thought it was pretty fun. Backyard wrestling, I mean, wrestling is kind of a like white trash niche thing anyway, like I'm a great wrestling fan, I love wrestling, but backyard wrestling, that's just, that's sick stuff, but for two dollars and in video game form, it's actually kind of entertaining. Like, it's very cartoony, you can like throw bricks at people and put them through tables, it's, it's dumb fun, and it's kind of funny. Not complete, but $2 minus 20% off, could not complain. And I bought this at EB Games, this is, this is the only item that isn't from Cash Converter, so I bought this from EB Games, it was cheap enough, $4 for somebody amigo.
nice and complete and in great shape. I will be selling a few of those that you just saw, so look out for them on eBay. And finally, finally the last stuff. We have here a complete in box Game Boy Advance game. This stuff was all from once again my local Indra Pili. They've been getting a lot of good stuff in lately and they've actually been putting it on the shelves. For some reason they've they've been waiting for stuff to sell and then they fill up that sold space, which I don't think is right. Like they should put stuff out as they get it, and then the good stuff will sell and then over time they can mark down the the lesser items. I think that's good business, but that's why I'm not in business. I I'm no businessman, but they marked this down finally, and I was happy to pay it from $9 to $3. It is WWE Road to WrestleMania complete in box for the Game Boy Advance. It's decent. It's kind of like those old the old Super Nintendo WWF WrestleMania, so if you ever find it, if you ever find it for cheap, pick it up. It's decent. I got them to give both of these to me for $5 total. We have Wii Fit plus Wii Fit plus Wii Fit plus doesn't come in a normal case. But I have no need for these. I plan to sell them, but if anybody has need for these Nintendo Club points, please feel free to use them. I don't do the whole Nintendo Club thing, so if anybody wants to do it, feel free. My treat to you. Yeah. Also bought for three dollars. Halo 2 listed online. It's sold within the day for ten dollars. So I try and price stuff significantly lower than what it is actually selling for online. So this is all complete and it's in great shape. My one is in a bit better condition, but this one is still in very good shape. And for three dollars. I was happy to grab that. Another item I am selling, this item is, from what I can tell, brand new because to my knowledge, my local cash converters doesn't, it doesn't seal anything in cellophane, so this might be brand new, it might not be, but we have Rocksmith, the authentic guitar game, the big box one with the actual guitar tone chord, so that's awesome. And I'm selling this online as well. I have it up for bid. It's at $26 right now with about four days left, so yeah, should get back a fair amount of money from what I spent just on this. And the final item of this video, um, I'll have to check my PS3 collection to see if I have this. I know I have had it before, but I'm not sure if I've either sold it or kept it, so we have for $7. The Last of Us. Very good game. Play it if you have not. It's a very cinematic kind of stealth survival horror game where you're in the zombie apocalypse and how can I explain this? You don't have very much ammo to do anything so all of the ammo you get you have to make last so there's a lot of like setting up traps for the enemy and making sure that you don't get any damage because you'll need the items you get not to craft not to craft med kits but to craft trap items so it's very interesting I finished this on like medium difficulty and it took me a long time to finish like I bought this last year at some point no I bought it on release and then it took me a long time to finish it I only got around to finishing it recently so still a very good game very story based. The entire concept is that this old kind of grizzled veteran finds this young 14 year old girl and she could be the she could be the answer to curing every one and making sure that when people die they don't become zombified so I'm trying not to spoil anything but he has to take her to this place where they'll run tests on her and kind of extract her blood and see if she is the cure. So it's that kind of storyline, but it's very, very good. Very emotional story, very good. And for seven dollars, I was happy to buy it. So that is everything. I'll see you go of my house, bidding you farewell. Stay out of my op shops. And that's all, folks.